What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Reggie back at it. I'm gonna be doing a collection update video for you guys. No, I haven't been here for a while. I apologize. I know the review um, community has been kind of slowed down, especially since Mark left. Um, I do appreciate everybody that's rate, commented, subscribed to my uh, other collection videos. Um, again, this is just going to be an update for what I've been smelling, what I've been using uh, in the past like six months. So bear with me. I got a uh, new presentation for you guys. So nice little five tiered shelving. of my collection thus far. Now I have done a bit of uh, swapping and uh, trading back and forth along with a couple new purchases so I'll really briefly go over what I've got. Top shelf, my shades, couple Gucci's, couple Prada's, my watches, couple Croton's, Invictus, D&G's, you know, Swiss maids, whatever. Got um, my night sense right here, my top tier night sense. We'll start from left to right. I've got the uh, new Angel Men. Loving that stuff. Of course, Pure Havan, the regular Angel, the 1.7. You really don't need any more than that. I'm telling you, I live in uh, Florida, so in a really nice warm climate, don't need more than two sprays of that to get you done. Pure malt in the back. Still looking for a second bottle of that, guys. If anybody wants to do a swap, let me know. Uh, Mark Jacobs Bang. New. Loving that stuff. Of course, uh, Lamal. Senescence. Boss Bottled. Bulgari Black. Jean Varvados Collection, of course. Got the two anniversaries in the back. Vintage in the front. And John Varsavados, the original, off to the right. On the bottom tier, I've got Lacoste Essential Sport, Versace Man, Little Thrush, Ed Hardy's Love and Luck. I got two bottles of that. Again, guys, if you see bottles in the back, these aren't empties. These are, um,. <laughs> Those are extras. That means I either really like it and they only come in a 3.4 or uh, they're going to be discontinued so I got to grab another bottle. Uh, I'll be picking up another one of these since they just got a 200 mil out of that. Uh, Prada, Amber's Poron, Versace Poron, uh, Cologne by Terry Mugler. Uh, another one I'm loving right now, the uh, big boy of Loam. I'm gonna get La Nuit alone, but I live in a warmer climate. Again, I'm in Florida, so had to start off with loam. Great scent, nothing but compliments, very aromatic. Uh, Ed Hardy by Ed Hardy. Uh, Gucci Porom 2. Lacoste Porom. Dolce Gabbana is the one. Gucci by Gucci Sport. Sean John's. Unforgivable, uh, Lo Par Kenzo, Dolce Gabbana's Light Blue, and my two favorites of my editions, Bulgari Aquamarine and Bulgari Aqua. These two right here are going to be some of the best designer aquatic fragrances I've smelled. I'm very, very happy with these purchases. Um, this is a little bit darker, this is a little bit more wearable. I'd say this is more suit and tie um, for my climate. This is going to be all around. Um, I've got many compliments with both. Um, it does die down on my skin pretty quickly, but both of them are very, very good. I definitely recommend smelling. Alright, next one down. We've got Dirty English. Diesels, only the Brave. Fuel for Life, Burberry Brit, Lacoste Red, a couple Rokas Man chilling off in the back, Diesel Plus Plus, Ed Hardy's Born Wild for Men. That actually surprised me. It's a very light scent, but uh, does the job. It's very, very nice. Um, 
test it before you buy it. Doesn't last that long on my skin, but worth the purchase regardless. Burberry London. Of course, I've got maybe four uses out of this so far. Um, I live in very warm climate, so uh, my winters. Uh, go down to 50. I think I've got four days of that. I maybe wore it like maybe three days. Paco Rabanne's 1 million. They just came out with a 200 ml. So I don't know whether or not you guys are going to be seeing this for very much longer because uh, you're either going to see a swap or uh, another big bottle sitting behind it. So um, Blue Sugar, I had to get another one of that. Great stuff. The Scotta Magnetism. If anybody has another bottle of this, 3.4, let me know. Um, I'm willing to do multiple bottle swaps on my bottom tier. I'm trying to get rid of my bottom tier. Um, looking for that one. Uh, of course, uh, Lolita Lempica, O Masculin. Great stuff. Uh, Versace's The Dreamer. I'm going to get another bottle of that, along with Hane, Mori. Uh, that's the Eau de Toilette version. I need to get the uh, Eau de Parfum, so that's next on my, my purchasing lineup. On to the last shelf. Now these ones, guys, if you want to swap or uh, do multiple bottle swaps for anything that you've seen up top, uh, let me know. Or anything that I don't have, like Christian Audigier's, uh right there. by Christian Audigier. Good stuff. I'll pick up another bottle of that. Any one of the ones that you see here, I could do multiple bottle swaps as long as there's a decent amount of juice left in them. I've been over most of these already in my last review uh, slash collection video so I'm not going to go over these ones. I've got a couple reactions, uh, regular vintage black, DKNY, Be Delicious, Hugo Energize, Azaros Chrome, you guys know the rest. Um, I've got a lot of questions and uh, comments wondering how come I haven't delved into the niche crowd yet. Uh, really, I can put this very simple, guys. Uh, I've got connections and, um, and people that I know at Neiman Marcus, uh, Nordstrom, Saks. Um, I've been trying around and sampling a lot of different fragrances um, the niche crowd is going to be uh, for a very studious nose it's going to be for a very peculiar um, um, crowd it's not uh, like these designer scents which I think and if I'm assuming correctly were were made to sell they were made probably with a, a crowded audience doing t testing and sampling trying to see which ones are going to be more generally pleasing. Uh, the niche ones, on the other hand, um, I'm going to have to go through a little bit more specifically and try on my skin. I've tried a bunch of Tom Ford specialty blends. Good stuff, but man, <laughs> you'll be knocking out people left and right with half that collection. And um, they're very, very um, hard to wear, difficult to wear. So... Again, I will be getting into the niche after I finish up a couple more designers, but I, uh, I want to go ahead and finish the designers first since they're the more pleasing sense to what I'll be wearing, um, you know, 90% of the times. Alright guys, well, again, thank you for uh, rating, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, look out for another collection or haul video here soon. Uh, I got a couple other purchases to make couple duplicates to buy and I hope you guys enjoyed take care now